the discoveries made for the 2019 and those were general discoveries uh, am i audible sir properly yes, yes. yes sir yeah uh, those discoveries we have seen and now uh, we will talk about the five chemistry inventions that enabled the modern world five chemical in inventions okay. that enabled the modern world see the first one is a discovery of penicillin second one is a discovery of ammonia by using haber bosch process third one the discovery of polythene and fourth one the discovery discovery of uh, contraceptive pills is nothing but uh, 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 see, uh, uh, that is a progesterone-based molecules, and uh, last one is a uh, liquid crystal displays. That is LCD screens. We will talk one by one. Uh, see, the first discovery was uh, penicillin, and uh, everyone know the significance of penicillin. This uh, penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming in the year of 1928, and uh, penicillin has saved uh, our life. without a penicillin one cannot uh, survive in future as well also because there is no any substitute for the penicillin but it wasn't until use up to the discovery uh, or uh, 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 last case is made by howard flory worked out how to make it is in useful quantity no doubt this penicillin we can take the example of amoxicillin ampicillin then uh, uh, second generation antibodies third generation antibodies fourth generation antibodies they, that is a uh, cephalosporin uh, now we see in use that is uh, based on penicillin even though in msc we are studying antibiotics penicillin based antibodies penicillin is there or six amino penicillin like acid so we are studying uh, that discovery made in 1928 and uh, because of that discovery so many lives were survived because of the discovery of penicillin okay this is this was the first chemistry inventions made by the alexander fleming then uh, as we know the ammonia synthesis by using bass uh, haber bosch process with the help of uh, hydrogen gas as well as the nitrogen gas and uh, uh, when it comes in the contact with uh, some catalyst under some reduced pressure under some reduced pressure formation of ammonia gas takes place and the generation of ammonia may helps in the production of various kinds of uh, we can call it uh, see this urea not only urea but in urea percentage of nitrogen is there then uh, uh, dap then uh, 10 26 26 10 service service we can call it in marathi like that way see uh, the nitrogen is required uh, for fast grow of any crops that's why generation of uh, ammonia gas is required uh, and that discovery made by the haber bosch and uh, uh, which is used uh, this ammonia which is used for a crop fertilizer then the most important discovery as we are uh, 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 here we are using this kind of laptops or mobile phones uh, our uh, life becomes better as compared to uh, last century we can say because uh, we used to use various types of polymers for different purposes and one of the polymer that is a polyethylene which was the accidental invention in the last century Uh, in the year of 1933 this polyethylene a large number of plastics you came across are some form of polyethylene and it was initially discovered in 1898 and uh, on large scale uh, production in the year of 1933 and see 80 million tons are made every year this polyethylene polyethylene bags we know very well okay then Uh, as i told you that uh, the peel and the mexican yam which is a user for the generation of progesterone progesterone which is a very good medicine uh, prescribed by the doctors the uh, the source of that particular medicine is the peel and the mexican yam this was the great discovery for the uh, development of first 
contraceptive pills, that is the drug. Okay. Then, most important discovery for the last century was the LCD screens as we are using mobiles, TV, then cell phones, then uh, this uh, computer uh, or laptop or Android mobiles or tabs. See, as we know very well, the screen you are reading on LCD, that is liquid crystal displays LCD, Chemists known about the LCDs for some time, but uh, the temperature LCD displays become possessed after George Craig's discovery of 5CB in 1972. This 5CB derivatives are still present in TV, phone, and laptop screens. Now, now uh, the era has been totally changed from LCD to LED. Uh, LCD to LED. Okay. Now, we will talk about uh, somewhat a different, as we have seen that five inventions, five inventions of chemistry. But we will talk about uh, the molecules from the chemistry, molecules that changed the world. Molecules that changed the world. The power of simple molecule has never been more obvious. And all molecules are not created equal. Some have saved billions of lives. Uh, environmental havoc or made the world a more uh, colorful place. Here is a selection of those that have changed the course of human history. The first, as we have seen uh, about the penicillin, uh, now uh, we will skip this penicillin. Our second most important molecule, molecule uh, sodium chloride. As ev uh, everyone is using sodium chloride in their food for preservatives, also so the application of sodium chloride is uh, too much in daily use. This salt paved the way for modern civilization. It was used to preserve vegetables and meat as long as 4,000 years ago. See, this gave our ancienters the freedom to store foods for hard times, travel long distances, and live in harsh climates. Salt is also an important ingredient in the production of chemicals, soap, and paper. The sodium chloride is in such high demand that in 2006 alone, 240 million tons were produced uh, this sodium chloride in that year. This is the second molecule. Third one, potassium nitrate. See, even though we are using these chemicals regularly in the uh, laboratory, but we don't know chemistry behind these chemicals. As the key ingredient of gunpowder, gunpowder, potassium nitrate allowed humans to propel bullets from guns and in doing so, change the face of warfare. Today, there are more than 500 million handguns in circulation, causing at least 1,000 deaths every day. The formula for gunpowder was likely discovered in the 8th century, although it wasn't until the 13th century that it was first used in canons. Then aspirin, see, uh, if we have some fever or have some different types of feelings, uh, then uh, everyone is suggesting uh, why not to have uh, some uh, aspirin, take aspirin tablet and you will get a relief from uh, that particular uh, uh, disease. See, aspirin is the most widely used drug in the world with more than 100 billion tablets consumed annually. Uh, the active component, salicylic acid, as we are making the derivative of salicylic acid, that is OSL derivative of salicylic acid is nothing but aspirin, aspirin derivative of salicylic acid from the below bar was used as a folk remedy as long as the 5th century. But it wasn't until 1897 that German chemist Hoffmann managed to synthesize aspirin in, in a pure form as well as in stable form, making it one of the earlier synthetic drug. Aspirin is now taken for a huge variety of affection from fever arthritis to the prevention of heart attacks, stroke, and dementia. Okay, for this purpose, this particular aspirin drug is used. See, this was the great discovery. This is the great molecule that has changed the world. Then, uh, sodium, sodium stearate, 
it's a hard to imagine how life might have spread from the human race before the invention of soap because in earlier days there was no soap but uh, was the discovery of this sodium stearate which is a sodium salt of long yes for the printed yes uh hygiene has also been important for steel spread of this ajit kale please your video of your video ajit kale this sodium stearate the active ingredient in soap works it magic by helping oil to dissolve in water see according to the un from the hand washing with soap prevents up to 1.4 million deaths per year through acute respiratory infections see this the silicon is also important discovery that has changed the world ajit kale tumcha video off kara see silicon is a key component of computer chips because it is used in a circuit and it's estimated that there are current more currently more than more than 1 billion computers in use worldwide silicon is also used in solar cells water proofing treatments as well as seals explosives and uh breast implants but we know very well the use of rubber this natural rubber has been gathered from the sap of plant from the century for this uh, centuries but rubber only began to be used up widely after 1839 where charles goodyear as we know goodyear rubber uh, charles goodyear found a way to make it strong durable and elastic see other applications include gloves rubber applications we know for the preparation of gloves rubber bands and balloons even more rockets and missiles are powered by synthetic rubber based fuels okay uh, then next one uh, this silicon dioxide we have seen silicon this silicon dioxide as the principal component in glass silicon dioxide was used as early as 5000 years before the christ all the panes of glass in the world today covers about 4 billion square meters this is silicon then polyethylene we have already seen the discovery of polyethylene uh, for the uh, five different molecules we have seen for polyethylene then ddt uh, ddt we know very well but chemistry behind the ddt we don't know even though we are the learners of the chemistry but also we don't know about the ddt in 1950s and 16 ddts was used to eliminate malaria from the europe and north america in a program that according to the who saved an estimate the number of million lives however as early as the 1940 scientists had begun expressing concern over hazardous associated with the use of ddt and extensive research has done since impl- implicated that organochlorine insecticides in the poisoning of human animals as a result it used has been banned or restricted in a manner uh, in most of the countries in many countries you can call it ddt then one of the alkaloid most important alkaloid that is a morphine as uh, we are studying morphine that is alkaloid a potent painkiller morphine was first isolated by german pharmacist that is a uh, setubner in 1804 and it remains most important drug used to minimize suffering in terminally in ill patients particularly uh, uh, those who are pay, uh, facing the problem of cancer morphine is more widely distributed in the form of the uh, uh, in drug heroin uh, with an industry estimated at nearly about 100 uh, american dollar billion annually then then as we have seen the synthesis of ammonia importance of ammonia then iron we know very well 
because most of the things which we are using with made of made up of iron and uh, the ethanol we know very well uh, the importance of ethanol alcohol consumption in the third largest risk factor for disease uh, in developed countries this ethanol generation production of ethanol uh, from the molasses we know very well how this sugarcane industry is made uh, uh, this ethanol with the help of distilling plant okay uh, then uh, the discovery of sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid is widely used in the chemical laboratories for, uh, not only chemical laboratories but also in industries for the for the generation of so many useful chemicals and it was discovered in 1746 and uh, the production of sulfuric acid was estimated uh, is uh, too much because it requires too much okay then this uh, as we have talk about the progesterone progesterone is uh, uh, discovered by this scientist that is carl gerasi uh, who is a steroid chemist and uh, have first discovered this progesterone uh, in the uh, in the uh, long back in the year of 1951 then we know very well the generation production of carbon dioxide and its emission the loss the negative impact of this generation of carbon dioxide we know very well then we will talk about uh, sir how much time i can take najat sir sir najat sir hello hello ha uh, 10 minutes sir only 10 minutes are with me uh, uh, whatever topic i have given uh, it's a difficult to touch that particular topic but we will see in future next time okay. but uh, we will talk about something uh, uh, about uh, this molecules that change the world okay sir. we have seen so many molecules so many inorganic compounds so many inorganic as well as organic but also the person kc uh, nikolov in his book i think in your library this book may be there and the cost of this book is around 2000 rupees uh, it's a cheaper book uh, useful book for organic chemist definitely if you read this book you will get a lot of discoveries made by the different scientist and in that book what they have covered they have covered around 30 32 molecules and uh, how these molecules have changed the entire world in terms of medicine in terms of other things also and in that book they have covered so many or organic compounds as well as inorganic and in that book they have covered kesinikola have covered the synthesis uh, synthesis of urea acetic acid glucose aspirin camphor terpenol ter uh, then uh, quinine morphine steroids then strychnine penicillin longifolin progesterones then uh, anthotericin b then vancomycin then uh, different uh, then recently uh, used a drug taxol which is used for uh, as a anti cancer agent and many more books uh, many more uh, sorry natural products as well as synthetic compounds they have covered over here and uh, lastly small molecules uh, small molecules based around the drugs and their biologies Uh, all these aspects uh, kc nikola have covered in this particular book the molecules that changed the world in short we will see because i have only 10 minutes 10 minutes and in that 10 minutes definitely i will try my level best to cover the molecules that will change the world molecules that will change the world that is chemical innovations that will change our world what are the chemical innovations Uh, that that will change our world see as we are living the in the era of nanotechnology particularly uh, the different applications of nanotechnology i will focus on nanotechnology in agriculture field for uh, for crop growth crop improvement crop protection crop uh, so precision farming the then the stress the tolerances and as well as the soil enhancement see in each thing how this uh, nanotechnology is used for crop growth just i have shown over here from germination to growth to crop yield as well as in crop improvement see, see this nano biotechnology how this nano biotechnology is useful uh, before seeing this particular as a uh, 
perform, we have seen, we have observed, as well as we have witnessed the, the showering of different types of pesticides, uh, uh, pesticides, as well as uh, different types of, uh, see this, uh, uh, 181810 or 102626 or use of uh, various nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, and potassium based uh, different types of pesticides as well. See, the waste is too much. The waste, 90% uh, waste is there because after showering uh, in the farm, uh, it, it will go in the uh, environment, 90%. Because most of the molecules are uh, the volatile, they will go in the waste, in the uh, miss. We are uh, producing uh, our uh, environment more polluted with the help of such kinds of pesticides. See, that's why. And as we know, world population keeps growing. Some predictions suggest we will be almost 10 billion humans by 2050. And feeding that many, many people will require huge increase in agriculture production because we need too many foods in future and we have to use some uh, uh, pesticides for more, uh, more uh, in excess amount of the foods. However, lot of contamination is there, lot of pesticides we are using for uh, uh, better yield, but however, in future, agrochemicals such as fertilizers or pesticides uh, can be used in minimum quantity. That's why the first point which I have covered over here, nanopesticides, nanopesticides will change the world, will change the world, use of nanopesticides, a new paradigm in crop protection. Use of uh, nanopesticides is a receiving increasing interest in, is the pesticide sector with the development of a range of plant protection products that are termed nanopesticides. Nanopesticides involve either very small particles of a pesticide active ingredient or other small engineer engineered structures with useful pesticidal properties. Means if using only five to 10 milligrams uh, in, in a uh, 100 liter of water, means that, that becomes a nano pesticide. Okay, see, as we know the benefits of this nano populations of pesticides, and uh, just I will skip this particular points. How to make this as well? Mute, mute themselves. Okay, the second and most important point which uh, uh, I have highlighted over here, uh, which will change the entire world. Inertia selective organocatalysis. See, a chemist have always been inspired by nature and the nature produces some chiral molecules, but in small amounts, in small amounts, amounts. But the drugs which we need in excess amount, and to make those drugs which are chiral one, chiral one, whatever methods are available so far are not useful or the cost of those drugs is too much. And to reduce the cost of that particular drugs, we need some in a, uh, organocatalysis, organocatalysts, which are chiral one. And with the help of this inertial selective catalyst, may reduce the overall cost of that particular drugs, overall cost of that particular drug. That's why, see, the organocatalysis was born in the late 1990s and it has not stopped growing over uh, ever since. This is the second point. See, one of the examples of uh, this uh, Robinson evaluation method we can cover over here. See, inertial selective or uh, 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 with the help of, see this uh, L proline, the cyclization or aldol type of condensation takes place over here and we will have a 99% yield of this particular product with 93% inertial selectivity is observed. This is the second point. This is another example of inertial selective synthesis, Michael addition reaction uh, on this alpha beta uh, unsaturated nitro compounds with this active methylene compounds. With the help of see this organocatalysis, we will have some chiral molecule with 99% inertial selectivity we can observe. See, the third one, use of solid-state batteries. 
uh, as we have seen just uh, lithium ion batteries for the lithium ion batteries they have received a nobel prize for the year 2019 a uh, solid state battery is a battery technology that uses solid electrons and solid electrolyte instead of liquid or polymer gel electrolytes found in lithium ion batteries see the solid state batteries may enhance or may change the entire world that's why this is the third point as compared to lithium ion batteries that power our smartphones tablets and laptops solid state batteries are lighter lighter allow higher energy storage and perform well at higher temperatures but this technology is still very expensive then fourth one as we are talking about the green chemistry last decade not only last decade but the last uh, last decade of 20th century as well as the first decade of 21st century most of the researchers they are working on principles of the green chemistry and the libraries of new molecules people have discovered with the help of green chemistry but in 21st century this flow chemistry is the new chemistry which may change the entire world see uh, this is the chemical reaction in a, uh, is a run in a continuously flowing stream rather than a batch products this continuous flow reactors are used in this flow chemistry if you need some 100 g of one drug in one hour with the help of this flow chemistry we can make 100 g drug in one hour that is the beauty of flow chemistry see this is the example of flow chemistry how we can make this type of molecules then uh, the next and fifth uh, uh, important chemical innovations that will change the entire world is a reactive extrusion this particular technique is used in the polymer chemistry polymer chemistry see the next one is a metal organic frameworks and porous materials for water harvesting because uh, in most of the countries there is a scarcity of pure water water scarcity affects more than 40% of the global population and projected to rise in many more countries people are not getting quality waters on the top of that 3 in 10 people lack access to safely managing drinking water services and chemistry could bring a solution to this problem to change the world using porous materials particularly metal organic frameworks that can be used and uh, see such type of molecules can be used for the purification of uh, this is sea water sea water and can be used uh, uh, as a drinking water and that may change the entire world then the seventh one see direct evolution of selective enzymes selective enzymes if you need some molecules and uh, the nobel prize for chemistry in the year 2018 with one half to francis h r dobold for the direct evolution of enzymes uh, and half jointly to george p smith was given for the year 2018 see directed evolution enzymes is the efficient way to improve the enantiomer selectivity of enzymes for particular reactions okay uh, the most important changes we can expect from uh, plastic waste plastic waste to monomers chemists should be inspired by nature uh, everything is is reused and we should do the same with synthetic materials it will say uh, solve the problem of recyclability in the long term and the finding suitable sources of the main building blocks some polymers like polylactic acid polylactic acid can be recycled in their monomers that is a lactic acid then reversible deactivation of radical polymerization is one of the uh, important chemical innovation that will change the entire world and third one is a 3d bioprinting as well as uh, now uh, just uh, okay sir meeting is over can we join rejoin for 5 minutes Hello, hello sir hello there are 5 minutes sir yeah. hello uh, yeah 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 because we are how many minutes 5 minutes 5 minutes are there yeah yeah within 5 minutes i will finish definitely sir okay, okay. see uh, in the year 2020 as well as in 2021 we are facing the problem of covid 19 and what is the contribution of chemist in fighting covid 19 as uh, everyone is witness the significance of chemist 
the world or the globe has witnessed the significance of covid uh, co significance of co chemist see the role of chemist in the discovery of different types of drugs which can be used as an antiviral agents as we know the very well hydroxychloroquine chloroquine or remdesivir these drugs made by the chemist and used for fighting covid 19 as well as not only these but also see the very from very first hand sanitizer made by the chemist and every day the message from the government they are sending message uh, you have to wash the hand regularly you have to use mask regularly whatever mask uh, are in the market they have made by the chemist not only mask but also ppe kits we have to use ppe kits as well and that ppe kit is made from the polymers uh, better polymers and we are now taking care of uh, vaccines the chemist as well as microbiologist biotechnologist uh, they have discovered the new vaccine and uh, we are fortunate the serum institute or bharat biotech they have given the vaccine to combat covid 19 see the contribution of chemistry is too much okay uh, as uh, we know different types of drugs made by the chemist given to the patients uh, that is the message i want to pass you in short in short to promote and highlight the ubiquitous contributions of chemistry in our daily lives to inspire the new generation of young scientists to fearlessly embrace the challenges we face empowering them to find solutions through research entrepreneurship and creativity chemistry innovations will drive the change towards achieving the sustainable developments of the goals and to apply and communicate chemi chemi chemical knowledge for the greatest benefit of humankind and the world with this uh, the comments made by the louis posture science knows no country science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world thank you louis posture and with this i'm very much thankful to one and all thank you sir i uh, give the thanks to dr baprav singte delivering a nice lecture on the iic